Hey team, in this video, we will cover all the steps to set up and install your new TOSCO 3. Today, we are on site at Sunset Pier Marina Bay in Quincy, Massachusetts, and we'll walk you through how to unbox and install your new handheld, and set up things like cellular, cloud printing, and more. Before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the videos in our TOS networking series to ensure your TOS wireless network has been established before setting up this device. This means your TOS router is online and wireless access points have been successfully installed. There are two different TOS Go 3 devices you could have. One with Wi-Fi only capabilities, meaning these handhelds will connect via a wireless connection to your TOS network and one with Wi-Fi and cellular capabilities, meaning these handhelds will be able to function when a Wi-Fi network is not present or out of range. This handheld uses a cellular data connection to establish the internet, similar to how your phone can run off of Wi-Fi or use the cellular data you pay for through your phone carrier. Today at Sunset Pier, we will be setting up a TOSCO 3 with Wi-Fi and cellular. You will know which device you have by looking at the box or checking the color of the volume buttons. A Wi-Fi only device will have dark gray volume keys, whereas a Wi-Fi and cellular device will have silver volume keys. Let's get started with today's setup by unboxing your TOSCO 3. In the box, you will find a TOSCO 3 handheld device and a power adapter. Before moving on to setting up the device, you will want to make sure the handheld is fully charged. There are a few different ways this can happen. There is a magnetic charging port at the bottom of the device designed for use with a TOS magnetic charging cable or our charging dock. Align the magnetic connector and it will snap into place. More to come on charging docks and accessories in a bit. There is also a USB-C charging port located on the side of the device. This is great for individual charging or on-the-go flexibility. However, TOS does not provide the USB-C cable. Before we power on the device, make sure you have your TOS login credentials and your TOS Wi-Fi network information handy. You will need this to complete device setup. Let's get started. Press and hold the power button on the right-hand side until the TOS logo appears. This may take a few seconds. Once the orange screen appears, select Get Started. Next, choose to set up using Wi-Fi or mobile data. We highly recommend setting up with Wi-Fi for first-time usage. Here, you should be looking for your Toast network. If you can't remember your Wi-Fi password, log on to Toast Web and navigate to Toast Account Wi-Fi Configuration. After completing the prompts to finish setting up the device, you will be brought to the Toast home screen. Select Go to POS to open the Toast POS app and enter your username and passcode. From here, you will be prompted to configure your device settings. You can copy settings from another device or set this up manually. Today, we are going to set this up manually by selecting which screen an employee will see first and choosing light or dark mode. Next, let's name the device. Best practice is to name the device based on where you plan to use it. Now we can choose whether to enable digital receipts, meaning guests can tap and sign on the device, and select which printer receipts should go to. This will be the default receipt printer that prints out guest checks and credit card receipts. From here, the device will prompt you to enable EMV payments so that customers can pay using dip or tap. Follow the prompts on the screen to check for card reader updates. If you want this option, be sure that enable EMV chip read is set to yes. The next screen will allow you to choose different device settings based on how you plan to use your handheld. Visit our Toast Central article, POS Device Setup Overview, for more information on device settings and configurations. And just like that, your TOSCO 3 is now ready to take orders and process payments. Your TOSCO 3 with cellular will automatically come with cellular activated and enabled when you set up the device. To verify this, swipe down from the top of your handheld and select internet. 
you can see that both the 4G connection and the Wi-Fi connection are enabled. We suggest leaving both of these on at all times so that your handheld has the option to use a cellular connection whenever the Wi-Fi connection strength is low. This will happen automatically and will not incur additional charges or disrupt your service. Keeping cellular enabled will ensure all of your guest payments are still able to be processed, even if your Wi-Fi signal is weak or out of range. When you purchased your handheld, you already purchased the data plan needed to run cellular. This will show up on your monthly invoice as two separate line items, one for the handheld monthly software subscription itself and the other for the cellular data monthly subscription. Wanting to protect your new device, you can purchase a protective case for your Tosco 3. To install this, remove the cardboard insert and snap the case into place, starting with the bottom of the device and finishing by going corner to corner. If you plan to charge more than one Tosco 3 at a time, you might want to use our charging dock. To connect this, use the USB-C plug that comes in the box and plug it into the bottom of the dock where the orange label is. Use the thumb screw to secure this into place. Then you can thread the cord through the back slot to make sure that your dock sits flat. If you are using a Tosco 3 protective case, you must remove the dock insert before charging. If you aren't using the protective case, leave the insert intact while charging all of your devices. Remember, this dock is only to be used for Tosco 3s. Now let's step outside to talk about a new setting that will come in handy throughout your service. Do you have that one area on your patio that doesn't get the best connection? With Tosco 3's cloud printing capabilities, your printing will no longer rely on the status of your Toast Wi-Fi connection. With cloud printing, orders are sent to the cloud using your handheld cellular data or Wi-Fi connection. From there, the cloud will need at least one terminal online at your restaurant to finish pushing these orders to your restaurant's printers. To turn on cloud printing, navigate to Menu, then Device Setup. Scroll down to Cloud Printing and make sure this is switched to On. Now that your new Wi-Fi and cellular Tosco 3 is set up, charged, protected, and ready to process payments and print tickets, even if your Wi-Fi connection is weak, you are ready to serve your guests. Wanting to take this device with you on the go? Check out our video using your Tosco 3 off-site for all the setup and considerations needed so you can take orders and payments from anywhere. And as always, if your setup didn't go as smoothly as ours did today, or you run into some issues during service, check out our troubleshooting video, Troubleshooting Your Toast Handheld, or reach out to our customer care team for help. You got this.